So in the last two videos, we had a look at the conditions of equilibrium for a rigid body. We also had a look at the support reactions. And today we are going to solve a problem on equilibrium of a rigid body in 2D. Let us take a quick look at the steps involved in solving a problem. The first step, as was applicable in the case of particle equilibrium, is to draw a neat free body diagram which should show all the external forces and moments and the internal forces should be excluded. The external forces would include both the known and unknown forces. The known forces as you know are the loads, the external forces acting on the rigid body and unknown forces are typically the reactions at the supports. In order to solve the equilibrium problems, we have three equations, sigma fx equal to 0, sigma fy equal to 0, and sigma mo is equal to 0. That is, sum of forces in x and y direction and sum of moments of all the external forces about any arbitrary point O should be equal to 0. And these three equations need not be written in a specific order. They can be written in any order that you feel like. There are some techniques that you should keep in mind while simplifying your solution. One is that while taking moments, you should take the moment about a point which is the intersection of two unknown forces so that the equation that you get will have only one unknown force and it will make your calculations easier. And similarly, the second technique that you should keep in mind is to sum the components of the forces in a direction that is perpendicular to two unknown forces which are parallel. Well, these techniques will be more clear to you when we solve a problem. So let's now move on to solving a problem. So here in this problem, we have a signboard which is hung with the help of two chains DE and FH which are connected to a mast AB and it is projecting out of a wall. You must have seen these kind of signboards hung in front of shops. This is held in place with the help of this cable and we have to find the tension in this cable and the reaction at this pin joint at A. So as you know, the first step is to draw an FBD and in the FBD we'll have to show the reaction forces. This is a pin, so it will have two reaction forces, one in X direction, and one in Y direction. So this is AY and this will be AX. The tension force will be acting like this. The weight of this mass must be negligible because it is not been given in the problem. So we can assume that it is negligible. And the tension in these chains is 225 newtons and 135 newtons. So as you can see that this is a 2D structure and all the forces are in, in this plane. There are three unknowns, the two components of the reaction at point A and the tension force in the cable. And it's a 2D structure, so we have three equations available to us and there are three unknowns. So the problem is solvable. So let us first draw a neat FBD and that will look like this. This is the mast AB, the two forces exerted by the chains DE and FH are shown here. These are the two components of the reaction force at A and this is the tension in the cable. These three are the unknown forces, these two are known. So we have three equations and I am going to write the moment equation first. The reason is that if I write the moment equation about a point A these two components will go away and the equation will have only this unknown TBC that is the tension in the cable and I will get the answer straight away. 
and when I plug in the values of TBC in the other two equations, I'll be able to get the values, the magnitudes of these two components of the reaction. So I'm going to first write the moment equation about A. Before doing so, let me calculate the distance BC. This will be equal to square root of 2.52 square plus 0 0.39 square and this will work out to 2.55 meters. And now we are ready to write the moment equation sigma m about point A equal to 0. The sign convention is that counterclockwise moment is positive and therefore we'll have this equation. I'll explain each of the terms therein. If I compute the moment of this tension force acting at point B about point A, I'll have to deal with two terms. First, moment of its x component and second, moment of its y component. Now you know that moment of a force about a point will remain the same if you move the force to any other point on its line of action. So I'll move the tension force TBC along its line of action so that its tail coincides with point C. There is an advantage in doing so as you will see in a moment. We draw its components. The vertical component will pass through point A and therefore will cause no moment about A. The x component will have anti-clockwise moment about point A and the moment arm will be 0 0.75 meters. So moving the tension force to point C, we have to compute only one moment term and that reduces our calculations. So that is the trick for saving time and effort. The first term in the equation is the moment of the x component of TBC about point A. Suppose the line of action of TBC makes an angle theta with the x-axis. This angle is theta, then this angle also is theta, then the x component is TBC times cosine theta, and you can figure out that cosine theta is 2.52 upon 2.55. The moment arm for this force component is 0 0.75 meters and it produces anti-clockwise moment, therefore it is positive. The two downward forces at D and F cause clockwise moments about point A and therefore are negative. The moment arm for 225 newton force is 0 0.66 meters and that for 135 newton force is 2.16 meters. Simplifying the equation will give us TBC as 593.79 newtons and rounding it off it's going to be 594 newton. And now we can write the force summation equation in x and y direction to get AX and Ay. Summing the x components of all the forces, we write the equation Ax minus the x component of TBC equal to 0 and the x component of TBC is 593.79 times cosine theta and cosine theta is 2.52 upon 2.55. So this equation will yield Ax equal to 586.80 newton. Sigma Fy equal to 0 will give us Ay plus Y component of TBC minus 225 Newton minus 135 Newton equal to 0. The Y component of TBC is 593.79 Newtons times sine theta and sine theta you can figure out is 0 0.39 upon 2.55. So simplifying this equation will yield Ay equal to 269.19 Newton. So now we have the two components of the reaction force at A. We can compute the magnitude of A, square root of the x component square plus y component square and that will 
work out to be 645.6 Newton, making an angle of theta with the x axis and that will be equal to tan inverse of the y component upon the x component and will be 24.64 degrees. So that means the force A is, this is A equal to 645.6 Newtons making an angle of 24.64 degrees. This is theta. So the tension force is 594 Newton and the reaction force is 645.6 Newtons in this direction. So that concludes our uh, solution. The point which is noteworthy is that by considering moment of all the forces about a point which is an intersection of the two unknown forces in this case point A, we have been able to get straight away the tension force TBC from a single equation and that simplified our calculation. And in case you have any question, please do include them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please share and give a like and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.